Still got those. Hmm. Anyway. Going on out here. Oh boy. That time again. Mustang prep. To show you what we're doing for 2020. See you in a minute. What is going on everybody? Welcome to End of My GT Entertainment and I am Joel. Nice to see you on this hot sunny day that we have going on. And as you can see, I have now the newly named My Little Pony 3.7, Stormy, and now uh, Electra sitting out here with the hoods up. So what is going on today? So what I'm going to do is go through my little things that I do before I go on travel. I did this last year. For Mustang Week and I'm doing again for 2020. Um, I have the red Mustang set up because it coincides with everything for the V6 also. The V6 is not going that I know of anyway as of today that this was filmed but you never know what could happen. So I'm going to go over my steps of what I check before I go out in my travels and um, we'll go from there. So we'll see you in a minute. All right. All right everybody. So the first thing I do is a visual inspection. Um, and like I said, this is what I do mainly just when I'm going out of town and, you know, going on a longer than 25 minute trip. So that way, you know, something happens when you're not around, you know what to kind of expect. So um, let me show you what I'm talking about. See you in one sec. All right, here with Electra, like I said, a lot of people say, hey, your, your fluid looks low. No, it's not low. But um, you want to check your fluids. You want to make sure that your oil is up to par. I just changed the oil in here so it's fine. But, you know, I will check it again. Um, nothing's leaking. Make sure everything under here is pretty much dry. So that's pretty much what you do with your visual. You just want to make sure that everything is where it needs to be. And there's nothing that looks kind of suspect. So, moving on. And we're over here at Pam's car. As you can see, her fluid might need a tad bit. Um, but she is parked on an angle a little bit. So, I'm going to leave it at that for that. I just changed the oil in this car. So, I know that's fine. Now, if dirt was a crime, she would be arrested. But that's a whole different thing. I do have a question about that. Because with the cars, can you actually spray the motor with the hose? Um... Cause I don't want to mess up anything, especially that being this close for us to leave. But like I said, her shit's dirty. I always clean my motor. If you notice the difference between my blinging over there and hers being a little sad case of dirt over here, I don't want to, um, you know, throw some water in here and then have her have any issues before we leave. But like I said, I would like to give her a nice clean. So. Hit me back on the comments and let me know if y'all spray off your motor. Not power washing, you know, just spray off to get the dirt, light stuff off of there. So, and the V6 over here. Um, like I said, that one looks a little low too, but it's kind of pointing forward. So, you, actually, it might be pretty low. So, I'm going to go ahead and add some fluid to her. And as you can see, everything looks good. No leaks, no nothing going on. And everything looks pretty decent here. So... That is a visual inspection of the motor part that I do. Let me go to the tires. I'll see you in a second. All right, the next thing I check are the tires. Now, Electra has a brand new set of tires on her, so I know she's good there. But I will check the tire pressure here in a little bit to make sure that they are even. I try to hit around 35 on my tires. It seems to be good, a good happy spot. Since these are my old bear days on Pam's car, I will check the tread and everything. And as you can see, they're pretty much freaking brand new she's not me she doesn't freaking uh just test out the uh durability of these as much as i would i guess so as you can see yeah they look pretty good and again i'll check the air with these and then these are also brand new on her so i don't have any issues with these also just a quick side note on electra I have the uh, tire pressure monitoring system turned off 
uh, you do it through four scan because uh, I switched so many tires that um, I don't always buy TPS sensors on them so this particular one they have blanks on them I thought I bought the regular ones but they have blanks you have to program them to then program them to, it was just a mess so um, I just four scanned them out so you don't have the little bong or the uh, um, little thing on your dash saying hey that you need air pressure because that's gone now on her car and this one they are actively working so you know it would let you know if you had a low tire but mine would not so that's why i always try to keep up with that on my car so moving on to the next thing now the next thing that i do and i do it more so on this car than i do in any of the other ones is the belt wear because i do have a grip tech pulley and i do have a lot more rotation i guess going on and heat and whatever produces on this side of the motor so i always want to check the belt to make sure that we're looking good so far it looks fine i always carry a spare for this car because you never know when you're going to have the problem so and then uh like i said it's it's a little different monster than uh pam's car and the v6 because nothing with the belt or pulley system has been changed on their car so they're still running the factory settings so it should be fine but again you want to check the belts to make sure there's nothing broken nothing messed up like I said I'm running the green belt on here so don't mind the dirt on there that's just kind of a byproduct so but um yeah let me go over to her car all right here we are at her car and as you can see the lettering on her th belt if I could find it because it's so glary here right there um it's still untouched and brand new so there's no problems on here and that's a 50,000 mile belt already on this car and there's no leaks nothing to be worried about it runs fine like i said it's just a smidge dirty and then going over here to mr v6 the new name for this car is now my little pony 3.7 that's right my little pony 3.7 go ahead haterade hit the comments but anyway now like i said it's uh just one i didn't like project six staying um i wanted something a little different for this car so it is my little pony see little tony so anyway um everything looks good belt wise on here too no leaks so we are good to go there heading off to All the right, next guys for you that have windshield wiper quarters some hoods don't have them and some people just run without them but i always check my windshield wiper fluid and as you can see i just filled it up in all three cars they are up to par now and it's just for those occasional uh night driving where bugs are splatting all over your car you know it's good to have something to wash them off so we're a good there. side note to kick in as you can see all my cars are running the red line hood struts this one is special because it's pot riveted in, but the other ones are the basic ones, the red lines. And as you can see, they're really simple. I love this type of uh, hood strut because it doesn't use the um, back plating for it right here. So it, everything's just from hood to fender. So you don't have to worry about any flex in your hood and you don't have to worry about it being uneven. So that is what i run those for so yeah go ahead and hit them up red line okay the next thing that i do is a visual inspection of the brakes um again my brakes are fairly brand new with the brembos so i know they're okay and they don't squeak or make any noises and i've got the uh whole line redone and everything so those are good now my wife's car she's got fifty thousand miles so it's just good to Keep an eye on them um they look good they're not burn up or you know show of any rubbing or squeaking it's probably due time for um getting these things changed at some point and i did find my cross drill rotors for this that i had on my car so i think those are going to go on this car so i think that'll give it a nice little look too but yep the brakes look good so all right guys on the next thing. one of the other things i check is the brake fluid level on hers, it's between max and um, low. So it's okay, it's in there. I like to have it a little higher than what that one is. So, like I said, it's um, kind of your preference there. 
so I don't want to mess with that too much uh, but like I said I don't have any to put in there yet anyway so but like I said it's the dot three that you put in there and uh, like I said it runs the clutch and the braking system the one reservoir does so you may want to be mindful of that for the future use you see on my car I run in a dual reservoir this is for my clutch this is for my brakes so one should not affect the other to a sense and as you can see I'm running a braided clutch line and I got a new clutch also so like I said mine's a little different but as you can see well I don't know how well you can see but mine are both filled up to the max so we're this good one pretty much like Pam's car is set to the middle so we are good there so no problems to be had here I check the batteries often but hers I don't know why her car has been doing this but um like I said it's um getting all that crud on there so I'm gonna clean that off real quick get that all nice and shiny so she won't have any battery issues while we're gone and that's a pretty much a brand new battery so I don't know what's going on with that and then on my car it's fine and then on the red car it's also fine so we'll get that taken care of all right one of the last things I checked are the windshield wiper blades all the windshield wiper blades on my cars are new I done changed them all at the same time so all these are new even on the red car um, one thing that people tend to forget to change is the cabin air filter the cabin air filter is back here um, right there you got to pop that pin out and this pin out and it separates over there in the middle where that crack is and this whole part comes up it's just a snap in pins in the cabin air filter All right and uh, like I was saying the air box is right up in here you pull those tabs out and then the air filter comes out and you put the new one in and I'll show you what that looks like that is what an air cabin air filter looks like for the Mustang and if you need the part number there it is and I know y'all hear me talk about the belts all the time they're my spare belts I do have one in the car already and then I will be taking my tools with me for the trip so let me finish out this video and uh, we'll get this done all right everyone that is my little checklist that I have for making sure that Electra and Stormy are straight and of course I did a little bit with uh, my little pony over there so like I said we're just keeping up the maintenance on them so that way when a big problem happens it won't be such a big problem so anyway like I said you will see these two cars down at Mustang week God willing if nothing goes wrong between here and next week and uh, we will see you there let me close out this video and there you go guys I decided to go ahead and hose it off anyway and clean her up so she's a lot better now That's all for the video today. I hope y'all enjoyed my little tiny way of what I do. And there'll be more stuff that I add, you know, then you got the whole packing and what to bring and what not to bring and how long you're staying and what tools you should need and what should be accessible and yada, yada, yada. Maybe I'll make a little follow-up video for that later if this one does okay. But anyway, hope y'all stay cool because it's super hot out here today. It's like 95, probably 100 degrees. My camera took a shit on me for a minute. It was overheating. So I had to wait, but we're back on it. So from Electra, Stormy, and My Little Pony, we will catch you on the next video. And hey, go ahead, hit up My Little Pony 3.7 on Instagram. Let's start building her up a little bit. I need some ground to make up. So if y'all don't mind doing that for me, it would be greatly appreciated. See y'all on the next video. Peace. <laughs>